when we work in a kitchen, um, systems are key. It may not always seem that way because there are a lot of kitchens that don't take advantage of systems. But the, the high-end kitchens, uh, fine dining especially, you have to be systematic. I've been cooking for over 20 years, and I do the same kind of system over and over again. I don't think about it. I know exactly. I can drop down anywhere um, and do something like this. Like, let's say I'm going to do your wedding. I'm going to be your chef. You're getting married. You're very, very a wealthy person. They're like a billionaire, and you're <laughs> going to get married in Hawaii. And you're going to bring me and your family down a month ahead of time so we can get really acclimated and you know, understand what we're doing. But I may not be able to set up this exact system on the beach in Hawaii, right? Mm -hmm. But I have the basic concepts down. And that's really where it's important. And I think where a lot of um, newbies to the kitchen don't understand that you can learn a simple process and make it universal to everything you do. So for example, how do you get ready in the morning? What's your system? Oh, I use the same system for everything. I don't need to think about it. I keep it simple and it frees up my brain to work on other things, like making sure you guys have to make mozzarella and things like that. But let me walk you through the system and the principle behind this. The principle behind this is called Begin with the End in Mind. How many of you ever heard of an author named Stephen Covey? Okay, he wrote a bunch of books. Um, one of them is called The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, which is a fantastic book. For me, it was a life changer. Really helped me get organized and prioritize what's uh, in my life. So, the, one of the principles is uh, begin with the end in mind, and the way he starts the chapter is all right, I want you to picture yourself in your coffin. So, you're laying down in your coffin, right? You got a nice suit on, maybe a chef coat. <laughs> you're just laying there. And then all your friends and family are standing around. And the goal of the exercise is, what are they saying about you? What do you want them to say about you? Okay. So as you're laying in the casket, what's, what are some things you'd like your family and friends to say about you? She was cool. Okay. Keep going. Nice. She wasn't annoying. Okay. So you, you would like take some time and really think about that. What's important to you? And those, when you write those down, those are the areas and traits that you should be focusing a lot of your effort on. Are you cool? Okay. Uh, are you you're not doing anything? Right, like what, what you, you would feel, you, know, you do it personally, it's kind of weird to do it in a group like this, but you, know, you really want to tap into what's important to you. And then that can give you a sense of how you want to live your life. Begin with the end in mind. You're, you're gone. You're dead. What do you want people to have thought, said about you? That then dictates how you should be living your life. See how that works? Begin with the end in mind. 